And what's remarkable about the piece is that it's about 240 years old. It took 10 years to carve. It's got a one piece of wood. Oh, and it's Rama and <laughs> down here is the Hanuman Monkey Warrior, and he's assisting them on their spiritual path of life. The Bodhi tree, the fig tree, is above them to protect them from the elements, the fig tree. And then the garden animal, the peace ox, is to protect them from, from evil and from anything that tries to come in their path. Because if you've ever had a, if you ever lived on a farm or a ranch and you have a peacock in the yard, they keep everything out of the yard. Mm -hmm. So, so that's what this is. Again, 240 years old. Soldiers <laughs> took part. I'm not gonna lie. The only one who will find it. I'll get a picture of it after. Oh, I'm sorry. So this little area here is called Area 51. <laughs> and the reason being is that the airport directly across the street, we see the red striped airplanes, right, with the no numbers letters on mm -hmm. them, are go out to Area 51 every day. And when they're building the hotel, the airplanes come around and they go that way off to Area 51. So we'd always go, hey, there goes Area 51, because we call this Area 51. What you're seeing on the walls right there are Jolly Screens. They were also in, you saw them in Ganesh, the Jolly Screens on the windows. Jolly Screens are there for Maharishis to hide their wives behind when people come to visit. And the women have to go behind the jolly screens. They can see you, but you can't see them. <laughs> kind of like a Catholic booth for, uh, uh, what do they do, the confessions? Yes. Well, that's what I'm going to show you next. So this is, uh, these are wooden uh, bark paintings that, remember I was telling you about the temple cards? These would be on temple cards. These are made out of bark. They're very, very old. And that's Krishna. This is the Hanuman monkey warrior. And this is very fascinating. This is a black Krishna. And if you've been to Central America before, Guatemala and in Panama and some of those places, actually in Portobello, Panama, there's a Catholic church that has a black Jesus in it. And the thing is, is that what's interesting about it, all, all halfway, you know, all the other side of the world, this, for five minutes a day, cur little curtains open up and you get to see the little statue of the black Krishna. In Portobello, Panama, and the Catholic church there in that small, I had a business in Panama, they have a black Jesus. The same thing for five minutes a day, they open it. <laughs> Steve, when we're done with the walkthrough, will we yeah. be able to go through and take um, a couple of pictures? In yeah, similar? yeah, we're getting ready to start two events. Okay. And so, Carlos Santana, you guys can come up mm -hmm. uh, another time too, you know, and, and just let me know, and I'll be happy to put you on the access to do that. Okay. But we do have dress codes and all that. We're getting ready for our members' event, and we're also we have the Carlos Santana Ca Casa Noble night. Okay. So um, that's what we're doing right now. So we have two things going off at once. This room, these are the walls of a small Irish cathedral. Wow. And then the paintings are Pune, and these are from northern India. And it's painted on glass and layers. It's a very rare form of art, a very difficult form of art. Back in the day, they could not buy the colors or the oils. They would have to create them with their own eyes. They couldn't go to Aaron Brothers Art Mart and buy things like that, right? <laughs> so it's, it's painted on glass on the back. You'll see how luminescent it is. Um, the table is an authentic Louis XIV French inlaid table. The chandelier above it is an antique French piece. The piece above it is from India. That's all ivory inlaid inside of that. There's a table that is the sister piece to that in the lounge. And there's also an entity in here. And I think it's the same one. Um, the female entity, the woman, is seen in the women's bathroom outside where we're getting ready to go, which, and as well as the kids, the two children that I told you about, they're also seen in Shangri-La, and that's where we're going to go right now. What's the name of this room? This is called a Gothic. A Gothic? A Gothic, G-O-T-H-I-C. Got the names already. I'm writing them down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be a test. And next door is uh, what is it? 18. 18. This one right here is 1856. There we go. I was thinking 56, but I don't want to. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, Steve, too. The good thing is I'm getting everything when he's talking. Everything's on video. Okay, and he has a packet too of all the information. Yeah. Everybody, this is Luch. Hey, Luch. Hi, so um, this is called 1856. And one of the things that I believe, only because of my experience of what my father did um, with his business, is that I believe that entities are brought, you know, they, they go with whatever it is. Now, 1856, St. Mary's Cathedral was built in London in 1856. And sadly, it was really destroyed during the war with Germany, but it was restored, and although it was restored, it was not a third code in the 1960s. They had to tear down the entire cathedral. Isaac made an offering to the Catholic Church, bought everything in it because this wainscoting, this paneling came out of St. Mary's, was also, would have probably ended up in a wood chipper. And so he bought everything in. 
And this is uh, one of our pieces I was telling you about American folk art. This piece here is one of my favorite pieces. It was done by an artist by the name of Purvis Young. And Purvis Young was brought up in Liberty City, uh, South Florida, in Miami, which is Little Haiti, one of the worst neighborhoods in Miami. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was brought up on the streets with no parental guidance. He and was arrested for armed robbery at, at 18 years old, was in prison for three years. While he was in prison, he'd go to the library and check out books on art. Well, you can't paint because they're not going to give you paintbrushes in a prison. So he befriended a guard. He was a model prisoner. His job was garbage detail. He'd break up wooden crates or anything else. This was his palette. He convinced one of the guards to give him some crayons. And he said, although I'm not an artist, I need something that's constructive to do with my time. He painted this painting, and he stepped back and looked at it. It's called Angels in the Ghetto. And he looked at it and said, you know, someone can look at this as discarded garbage, or they can look at it as a beautiful piece of art. And he said, the same thing goes for me, because of what I did. But he said, hopefully I can become something beautiful. People see me that way. They got out of prison and spent the rest of his life going to school and teaching children about his story and about art. Nice. And uh, he used to check out books in the library in the prison about it. He was very big into Asian art. And there's a little bit of the style of this in some of the Asian art that he saw from Japan. So that's Purvis Young. He passed away two years ago. And actually, 2010, he passed away. So this piece right here is about 300 years old. It came from the UK. It was one piece of well, from one tree. It was brought in by air, by airlift, along with Lord Mahavir. They actually had to saw the base of Lord Mahavir. These were two pieces that actually had to be airlifted into the hotel. And it came in through that wall, and they were smart enough to figure out how to get it in there. What they didn't think about was making the doors locked enough to ever get it out. So, <laughs> forever. So this is 1856. And I believe, especially with, big, with religious icons and things, and only because of my experience, I think there was something to do with it, because my dad was buying you know, things, he's buying out things of churches, of ancient churches, and, and I mean, he was in Transylvania, I mean, these guys, he would, he, my dad went everywhere, and he would just buy everything in the castle, you know, and just bring it back in containers, you know, and I finally said, you know, it's, I, I, I ended up quitting my job, because my dad, I did something else, I went to the music business, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take you guys through the biggest area of this place. children and of the woman, and the women's bathroom of, of the woman. And this is room is called Shangri-La. These were the confessionals from St. Mary's Cathedral, so think about that. I always say if the walls could talk in here, they'd be screaming. Mm -hmm. And um, also, in, this is the wedding altar from St. Mary's Cathedral. Um, on the ceiling in here, on both sides, there's two faces. There's one right there, which is Elmore James, and over here on this side is Mississippi John Hurt. And when I was telling you about Robert Johnson, you know, being the father of American music, had these guys not heard him, they wouldn't have because the legacy would not have been carried on to the style of music that is true American music. 
Griff Library. So they were the guys who were to hear him, then he died, and they were able to carry on that style of genre of music. Um, that's the Shiva over here, the statue of Shiva, is also a very old piece. It's about, it's about 300 years old, this one right here. And again, many of these pieces, museums would die to have. People that come up here and party and all that, they have no idea what they're, doing, what they're seeing. The chandelier came out of, uh, it's our newest piece in the collection. Hi, Pepe. How are you? How are you? Good to see you, my friend. We're doing a, uh, good to see you. So we're doing a quick tour here. They're doing, they're with a ghost, ghost adventure type of thing. Uh, what is it, what you guys, what's, what's one of your called? The local? Haunted Explorer. So I'm giving a little history, so we'll just give you one. Hey, good to see you. I saw, I've seen Carlos, I know he's so happy to be back in the house. I saw the guys yesterday and thought that one of the guys So, uh, so that, that chandelier came out of the Sahara Hotel. It's one of the original three. And so it's the newest piece that we have in our collection, but it is a piece of a Las Vegas history, which we never really had in here. There was an antique French chandelier hanging there originally. So uh, that is, uh, is uh, a little bit of Vegas history. Lucky enough to get some of it before it was all taken, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've got two mirrors and a lamp you can have them. They only brought bad things in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so this hallway, you know, and, I, and I'm really hoping you all come up and we can do this because I'm very anxious to see what we can find because I don't think it's ever been done in here. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, I mean, you guys have seen what you've seen. It's, there's things happening here. And uh, late at night, the cleaning crews that come in, it's been the same company we've used for in our 14th year. And the guy that owns the company is a guy that I know. When he has new employees that come in, no one ever says anything. And of course, they come up for their very first time, and some of them have quit, and some of them have you know, started to ask the questions. I think I saw something, and then they start spilling the beans as to whatever it is. But it's always in this area. That's my office right there. This hallway, this, pi this picture, this stained glass window right here, was um, out of St. Mary's Cathedral as well. And um, this was in the cathedral, and, and as you see where it says King of Kings, and it's facing this direction, um, it, it's that way on purpose because it's exactly the way it was in the cathedral. So as if we were standing inside the cathedral looking out, we would see that. And it says King of Kings, of course, facing this way. This is King Charlemagne, and King Charlemagne. And it's a beautiful piece. I mean, it's mm -hmm. incredible. And so, these, these are the main hot spots, as I told you, are out by, the, by Buddha and Ganesh, more, more in Buddha, and in that center between them. Uh, and right here outside of my office, inside of Shangri-La and in the women's bathroom. And again, since it's never been, you know, I mean, I think throughout this place, who knows, you know, what you would find. And all I can say is that at four or five o'clock in the morning, you know, on the off nights during the week, we shut down earlier. At weekend nights, sometimes we're here till four or five. But there are things that have been seen by quite a few of our staff, and no one really talks about it. You know, I mean, there's. Is there any way we could come during the week when you close down early? Yeah, I, 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 I can, I can, I can work that out. I can make that happen, and, and that's what really needs to be done. Right? Mm -hmm. So, um, because that's when the activity is and yeah. quiet. And that's when it's. You're not going to have any interruptions. You're not going to have any. It's just, it's just quiet. You know? And I mean, you know, Maharini, I mean, there's some things in here that, that, uh, you know, I don't know what you'll find. We're going to find a cross of a lot of things. And I said the two children that were drowned in the bathtub by their mother down just below us, so just the level directly below us, the kids are often playing inside of Shangri-La. Mm -hmm. And then occasionally, I think that the female adult aberration that's here is there to oversee the kids. I don't think she's related in any way, shape, or form. But in my opinion, and as all the cameras and recorders off, I do think it's her.